I've used this project, which we've, uh, is a theoretical, although it was um, some of it was built uh, a project in in America. So this is actually an American output, an American project, but a fairly small um, what the Americans call dormitory, what I might call um, a uh, residential block, and we've produced this as an example file, uh, and I will use this as an example to explain how KB works. Now, this particular project has been developed by, or is being developed by a team of people. So, um, as Scott alluded to, I've been working with Bill East, uh, who is the creator of Kobe, uh, to create this project and also create a, a book output. Um, Craig Hardingham has actually built a structural model, and uh, we are in the process now, uh, Emma Hooper is in the process of building the exact same project, but using Revit. And... Um, Sean O'Keefe is going to help do the building services that go with it, and then Chris Bogan is uh, producing, uh, helping Bill produce the quality control information. So there's a whole team behind this particular project, and it's and it's an ongoing project. So firstly, we start with the instruction sheet. So I'm going to work through the tabs of the uh, the design information to explain how this works. So the instruction sheet really is basically a summary sheet of information. You don't actually need to input any of this information into your model. It's basically information pulled from the other tabs um, to explain a, a summary, really, if you like, of, of the information within this file. So in this particular instance, it shows you how many floors, how many spaces, how many zones, how many types, and so on are included within this file. So for an Archicad user, uh, it's not a massive deal uh, to worry about this, but obviously it is summarizing, so it's always important to understand what this sheet is actually doing. We then have contact information. Now, the contact information is a list of all the authors who've contributed to this project. So, from an Archicad user's point of view, you would have one line of information uh, from the primary author of that information uh, in, in a single line of a spreadsheet. In Archicad, that information is basically put in in the project info. That's the only place that you need to put the contact data in. And as I said earlier, um, the document from Graphsoft tells you exactly the fields and that generate that Kobe export. Now, of course, a lot of this information can be set up in your template, and if you only have one office, you can pretty much do it globally, uh, and then you only have to add the name of the person that's um, creating that information into the file, and possibly the client name, although the client name doesn't actually go into Kobe. Uh, it's just included within this example. We then have the facility, uh, and they, again, we just have a single line, so we'd only have a single line for the facility data within a Kobe export. And that facility information is made up of three things. It's made up of your project, it's made up of the site that the uh, project is uh, located on, and the building that goes with it. So if you had a series of buildings, you would need a series of uh, Kobe spreadsheets, uh, a series of Kobe outputs, sorry, to go with each building uh, to be exchanged. So you're only ever going to have one building in your Kobe, Kobe output. And in order to generate that information, again, a lot of that information is placed in project info. So um, I was uh, fortunate enough to manage to get Graphsoft to rejig slightly the project info a, a few versions ago, and that again was largely um, un under the under the hood that most people probably didn't even notice, although some people would probably whinge about why it was reordered, to align with IFC and, and the Kobe structure. So again, you can see here we have a project name, project description, uh, site name, site description, and building name, and building description. So there's sort of six core fields, if you like. And we also have a phase, which is covered by project status. Uh, in, the, in the UK, that would be your, your ROBA stages. Um, what I should have said um, is also some of the information, the classification is actually put in the IFC manager, but I'll, I'll talk about the IFC manager in a second. We then have our floors. Um, so each floor within the building is represented by a line within the Kobe spreadsheet. And primarily in Archicad, so that's done within your story settings and a small amount of information in the IFC manager, again using a classification reference. As I've already said, um, the Graphsoft document does tell you exactly where to do, but you know your story settings are something you're doing already as part of your modeling process, and Kobe is really just capturing that information in its export. We then have the spaces, and this is where it gets a little bit fun um, for an Archicad user because spaces are created with the zone stamp. So I am desperately trying to get Graphsoft to rename the zone stamp as the space stamp or just the space tool um, because it is actually creating IFC spaces and each space within your model or each room, depending on which terminology you want to use, uh, is exported within uh, the Kobe output. 
And within ARCHICAD, primarily the spatial information is within the zone stamp tool. So you can pretty much manage all of that information. So things like your room number and your room name are, are covered. The height of your zone stamp uh, is the height of your uh, room and the area that you model. So again, lots of this you're already probably doing in your, in your current workflows. And then we have zones, which are different to the zone stamp. And this is, can only be done in the IFC manager and basically involves dragging your spaces, which you'll see in the top left hand corner of the IFC manager, and you drag them down into various zones. Um, something that probably is covered by, better by a technical session, but it's important to understand the difference between a space and a zone. And a zone is primarily a collection of rooms. In this case, we have circulation and some public and private uh, zones. I think we've got three zones within this particular example file. And then we have the components sometimes referred to as elements, sometimes referred to as instances, but within COBE terminology are called components. So every item within your model is a component. Every single item is listed. And the component sheet picks up each individual item within your model and expresses it as a line within, within the output. So in this particular case, we have a single bar stool as a component. That data, again, is primarily within um, object settings or settings of uh, your tools, and um, so lots of this is probably already there. Um, you can see there's quite a lot of data attached to this particular element. Some of this was was added to, for this specific project, others is some of our standard data. And you can, of course, add whichever information you want to this uh, particular element. So you may have certain client requirements or your own specific requirements, and, and that data can be captured within Kobe as well. And then we have types. So going back to my barstool example, um, the type sheet which is something that most ARCHICAD users are fairly unfamiliar with, and I've written various blog posts on this in the past. Um, but where those items are the same, so we actually have three bar stools, we have a particular type. So in this case, bar stool uh, type 1, or type 0, 1, is represented by a line within the Kobe export. And type data within ARCHICAD is all managed within the IFC manager. Now, there are new workflows within ARCHICAD 20 using the property manager, which would allow you to um, do this in a slightly more efficient way. But it's important to understand um, that that's where your data lives. And other information is collect collected from your ARCHICAD file. So coordinate information is extracted automatically from where you've modeled it. And attributes, any attribute that you've added to an element, such as fire rating, or uh, in this case, uh, the frame head detail, jarm details, acoustic ratings, all that kind of information is absorbed by Kobe. So as you can see, uh, in our particular example, the, the dark uh, grey boxes are the bits we've included in this particular example file. So reasonable amount, we didn't include systems, but you, you can do systems within, within ARCHICAD as well. 